The climate crisis has already been solved. We already know the facts and solutions. All we have to do is wake up and change. Greetings to one and all. I would like to begin by asking everyone a question. How many of us here have experienced the effects of climate change firsthand? Think about it. Well, I have, and this is my story. Growing up in India, almost every weekend, my father or my uncle would take my cousin and I to the beach. I loved going to the beach. I loved feeling the cool afternoon breeze against my hair while I built sand castles or collected seashells with my cousin. Sometimes we would go to this big lighthouse that was at one end of the beach. Or sometimes we would go to this nearby cafe that had the most heavenly tea and snack. As you can tell, I really miss the beach. So you can probably imagine my excitement when just last December, I finally had the opportunity to go to India and finally see those beaches once again. On the flip side, you can imagine my utter shock and disappointment when I saw that the same beaches that I grew up playing in, well, gone. Where once there were pristine golden sands, now lay a bare and jagged shore, as if someone had taken a saw and cut through it carelessly. I asked my grandfather about it, and he told me that, well, the rising sea levels had eroded it. The seas had completely swallowed the coastline, the same coastline where numerous families around Trivandrum depend upon for their livelihood, such as fishing and tourism. Well, it doesn't take a genius to put two and two together and realize all these were small signs that were pointing to a much bigger problem, climate change. And I am someone who has just experienced it firsthand. I would really like to emphasize on the last sentence as Whenever we talk about climate change, we always talk about it as though it's an impending doom, as though it will happen maybe in the next 50, 70 or the next 100 years. But that is not the case anymore. Our planet and its ecosystems are buckling under the stress. It's always showing the signs of this and we can't ignore it anymore. We have to talk about taking actions now instead of how we will talk about how we talk about taking actions in the future. I'm sure you have heard of. Now you may be wondering, I'm here trying to fear monger, trying to cause panic, trying to shout fire in a crowded room. But the truth is, there is a fire and this room has no fire exit. But jokes aside, yes, there is a fire and there is no planet B. We can't talk about how we will take actions any, uh, we can't talk about how we will take actions in the future, but we have to talk about taking actions now. Yes, there is no planet B, no other fire exits to lead us out of this unfolding nightmare. But what we do have are the resources and the manpower to put out this metaphorical fire. Thankfully, we have smart, rational thinking adults who are there to protect us and our planet who have recently taken part in the COP26 climate convention and finally changed and finally saw climate change and we all lived happily ever after. Uh, so that is awkward. Uh, allow me to explain. So it turns out COP26 was not an entirely resounding success. Yes, we managed to keep the goal of 1.5 degrees Celsius alive, but barely. Now you may be wondering, what is this 1.5 degrees Celsius I'm talking about? Well, the 1.5 degrees Celsius I'm talking about is the goal we need to achieve in terms of the increase in global temperatures to keep climate change at bay. But some estimates claim even that is not achievable, projecting an increase of 1.8 degrees Celsius, which may sound like a small margin, but may have drastic implications on our planet and its ecosystems. The politicians who take part in these climate conventions do not have first-hand experience of the drastic, uh, do not have first-hand experience of the devastating wildfires, fire, wildfires, floods, and droughts that devastate communities around the world, ecologically, economically, and socially. And in my opinion, this is the main problem. Science and database research have often been ignored as well, as politicians often value economic and political interests of, above all else. Now, you may be wondering, what do we have to do with this? 
where do we come into play well let me explain this is where we come into play we the students now hear me out what if we created an inter school climate action organization in which our students along with the support of our parents our teachers and our schools take action into our own hands with the aim of fighting climate change we can bring communities together thereby bringing the whole world together we have bright creative minds that can inspire innovate and invent we have to take action on what i like to call the four pillars of climate action or the seek pillars they are sustainability efficiency accessibility and cost it is my belief that if we have to seek a better world we have to seek these four pillars first very catchy i know let me allow, let me explain it to you we have to make our actions sustainable so that it is eco friendly and we keep in mind our own requirements while keeping in mind the needs of the future generations we have to make it efficient so that it does not waste any more precious energy and resources which are limited already we have to make it accessible so that communities around the world can access it without being hindered due, due to where they are and finally we have to make it cheap and reasonable as possible because we don't want communities around the world if they are based on where they are to be restricted due to cost no matter if they are in a developed country or in an underdeveloped country you may have heard of you may have heard of many bright students who have come up with simple yet ingenious ideas to fight climate change and well that's the beauty of it we can change the world one simple idea at one small action at a time doesn't that sound exciting now imagine all what all incredible things we can achieve if we bring all these bright minds under one or under one organization in one roof with the with the goal of fighting climate change with just by collaborating and discussing and debating new ideas and inventions and plans and policies i think we can do incredible things i think it is our very nature to achieve the unachievable by imagining the unimaginable and dare to do what hasn't been done before i think it is time we take action into our own hands with the aim of changing our future and changing our planet for the better thank you